All right, what's up, guys? Um, just got done doing a little photo shoot here at a uh, big old Walmart. Um, I haven't uploaded a video in a while, so bear with me. I've been busy. I've been trying to find a different job and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um. Just basically, it's been the same, other than the new rims, and that's basically it. Been rubbing on this rear quarter, this rear quarter, that one, and the other one. Um, I've been trying to find a different job. I've been just doing a bunch. I've been working, going to the fair. Um, it's basically it. I mean, oh, uh, yeah, I uh, decided to get back into a little bit of audio. I mean, it's not much, but it's something to get me by until I get more money. So, just a little. You guys can't see that. It's a damn. It's a little Rockford Prime 500.1. So. I mean, it's something. Don't think I forgot about you guys. I really didn't. Um, some of the shots after this video are, is done. I will be putting up on YouTube. So, yeah. Nothing's really changed. Really hoping I get this new job. It'll get me the hood that I want. Give me the wrap on the trunk. And the roof. That's basically it. I mean, I've owned the car for a year and a month now, so... Doing me pretty good. I'm gonna be replacing the grill. And I parked right in good sunlight or er, light too. So, I mean, yeah, this is just a quick update on what I'm doing, what I've been doing. So, I mean, oh, it's cold don't think I forgot about you guys at all because I really haven't I really hope you guys can see me I do not have a mount for this car yet so kind of sucks Basically, just been doing random shit, but, yeah, hopefully, I really do want this job, but I'm not getting my hopes up at all, just for the simple fact that every job I get my hopes up for, I not end up getting which kind of sucks but anyways here's a little video I guess
I'm driving and I'll catch up with you guys when I get to my road. Alright, peace. spectacular but I've seen a lot of videos like this it's an auto body shop right there job. 
job that's decent enough to where I can buy my own house. I mean, my goal for a house is a three car garage, three bedroom, two bathroom, all full bathrooms. And I have been looking for new jobs. I'm not going to settle or stop looking just because I don't get into this one. I got to put in two more applications later on today when this video is going to be uploaded. So hopefully I get at least one of the jobs that will guarantee me 40 hours a week so I can you know survive but in the meantime I'm yeah I'm struggling like you guys have no idea I do this for fun it gets me away from the real world as you guys would call it just honestly sick of getting out at 3 a.m., 4 a.m., and it's just, I want a day job that'll pay really good to where I can buy my own house and all that, and a job that I actually like. job that I work for now, or the company I work for now, I'm a fill-in driver for them, and I'm getting $10.80 an hour, but I barely ever drive, and I'm straight busting my ass. I mean this, like, full-blown. I bust my ass every night for $10.80 where I work in a warehouse and minimum wage for warehouse work in New York is $10 an hour. Like, the fuck is that? It's nothing. I want my own house. That's what I want. And in order to survive in New York, you have to be making at least $800 to $900 a week. And it's just, it's hard when you're, I'm 22, and I know there's kids out there that are making twice as much as me, but the thing is, I only do shit by myself. That's how I am, it's how I grew up. Bust your ass, you get what you get. And I cannot see pulling into my driveway. But, with that being said, you bust your ass every day for a shit company. And then the first day, you slack or you want to take it slow and all that. The company just goes berserk. And I'm to that point where I just want to slack and, like, yeah, I'll still bust my ass, but I won't go as fast. And it's just, I don't know, it's stupid. Yeah, it's. 4.30 in the morning and I'm just getting home. So. The job that I'm trying to get into, yes, is warehouse work, but it's second shift. It is from 1.30 p.m. to 10, 10 p.m. Sometimes up to 11 p.m. or 12 a.m. 
which I won't mind that just because for the simple fact that I'll, whatever job I get there, they have three positions available, which one position is a receiver. You're making 1090, I'll be making 1092 an hour. Second position available is single picker, which is you select, you get like one box and you pick that and you just go around picking those, which is I think 1152 an hour. Or you get the bulk pick, which you pick more, something more than 10. And that's eleven fifty two an hour, I'm pretty sure. And that honestly will get me my hood that I want. I'll be able to afford another car so I can put this one up. Yes, I'll be putting I'm hoping to put the key up for winter because I do not want to drive it. I don't want it to get rusted out. I want a winter at New York. Oh, I'm tired. New York uses salt and sand during the winter. I don't know if you guys knew that. But the salt will deteriorate and eat away at your uh, paint. And I don't want that happening to the Kia anymore I plan on paying this car off completely and once I do I there's big plans for the for it but honestly I've been looking on Craigslist for a cheap car for like three four hundred bucks just to get me through the winter I mean it'll be hard just because I'm under 25 and I'm a male so my insurance for this coupe is like 245 246 a month. And then top of that is my car payment which is 225 226. So give or take the extra money that I can make is going to I don't know what to say, uh, better myself and not let my car go to shit. I mean, yeah, it's got 109,000, but this is honestly the best car I've ever owned. I put one part on this car. One. It's my sway bar end link. And... I honestly, if it wasn't for this car, I don't think I would be where I am today without this car. This car just, I don't know what, I guess you'd say it saved me because before this car, my silver Jeep, I didn't care I didn't want the Jeep I could care less about a job and all that but this video is getting long enough and I think I'm going to end it here probably now I'll probably wait to get inside and end it but I'll meet you guys inside alright guys like I told you uh, I was going to end it in my room, um, but, yeah, this is a long night, too long, mm -hmm. time for me to pass out, and I'm gonna try and upload more videos, super busy, especially with the fair, and all that other stuff but anyways peace